Welcome to working with image files. Let's take a look at the movie file in top and how we can inspect our images inside of touch designer. To get started here, I'm going to double click on the network and add a movie file in top. Our movie file in top here is used for importing images, videos, and image sequences into touch designer. In the parameter dialog, let's change the file parameter by using the plus sign here to the jelly beans tiff. The first thing to note here is the gray checkerboard background. This indicates that the image is transparent here, meaning that the alpha of the image is zero in these checkered areas. We can inspect this top a bit further by making it viewer active, and we can toggle that using the viewer active flag in the bottom right corner. We can also turn that on by using our A key on the keyboard. Once the viewer is active, we're able to interact with the operator's node viewer. Now we can right click on the operator to have a viewer options menu appear, and that will show us display modes and display some additional information. Let's display our pixel values. This will display pixel information on the bottom left of your image. And from top to bottom, this shows our cursor's UV coordinates, our cursor's XY pixel coordinates, and two sets of RGBA values. For our UV pixel values, these are normalized from 0 to 1, 0 starting in the bottom left corner, 1 going all the way up to the top right corner. Next, we have our XY pixel values. These are whole numbers, and they relate to the width and the height of our image. These pixel values allow you to get the XY coordinate of a specific pixel in the image. We also have two sets of RGBA values. The first shows values that are 0 to 255, and the next shows values that are normalized 0 to 1. If you wanted to get the pixel value of one of these red jelly beans, what you could do is zoom into the image by middle mouse clicking forward. And as you get closer to the image, what you'll see is a square that hovers over a specific pixel to see the exact values that you might need. We can reset our image by using the H key to home the viewer. This will home the image to fit back in the viewer. Then in our image viewer options, we have some additional display modes. We can use these to view certain channels of an image. By default, we have it selected to color, which displays all our RGB channels. We then have red, which displays that channel, green, and blue, which displays their channels respectively. We can also select alpha to display the alpha channel. Then we have our mono, which displays the image in monochrome, and normalized split. Normalized split displays each channel in the image at the same time and normalizes these values from 0 to 1. This is helpful for viewing floating point or point cloud data. The last thing to note here is when we open up our menu, we also have these handy keyboard shortcuts that appear next to each entry in our menu. We can reset our image by setting our display mode back to color and by turning off our pixel values. That is just a quick look at working with image files inside of Touch Designer.